Hey everyone, and let's talk about the problem of the Apple Watch for some users, which means that when you flick your wrist, when you literally lift up the wrist, the Apple Watch doesn't light up as it should. So what can you do about it? It applies to the Series 5 and above, which have the always on display as much as it applies to any other Apple Watch. So what is actually the problem? And let me tell you something, you probably messed it up right at the beginning, right at the setting up of the Apple Watch. It is likely that you already messed up with the orientation of the watch, but more on that later in a video. Let's start from the beginning. At first, you have to go to the watch settings right on the, the Apple Watch, of course, go to the general section and to the wake screen. And one thing you have to make sure is that the wake on wrist race is on. That means that you can see the green color next to it. This is like the number one condition that you have to meet. I mean, like this has to be turned on in order for anything to work. But if you have this turned on, but still experiencing some problems, it could be because of the thing I've mentioned in the beginning. So you probably have the wrong orientation set. That means that you, for example, wear the Apple Watch on your left wrist while wearing it on the right one. And you can easily set this up or fix it in the settings of the Apple Watch again. So open up the settings, go to general, and there you will be, you'll be able to see the orientation option there. Just tap on it and make sure to adjust it the way it should be. The reason that this is important is because the Apple Watch actually knows, of course, which the which wrist you are wearing it on, and depending on that, it looks for the movement of that specific wrist. So you move and flick the wrist differently when you have it on the left wrist, and you also perform the same thing differently on the right wrist. That's why the Apple Watch tries to find out, and that's why you actually set this up. So make sure this is correctly said in order not to experience any problems anymore. By the way guys, if you are new on this channel, what you have to do and you should do is to subscribe to it because that means that you'll never miss the next uploads, which are going to be helpful for you at the end. So that's why I want you to subscribe and you can also support this video with your thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate it. Now let's continue with the video. The next possible fix to this problem could be simply turning off the theater mode. If you are on the home screen, just swipe up to access the control center and the toggle that looks like this is actually the theater mode. That feature pretty much disables that function and it just prevents you from doing the thing you want to simply flick the rest and the Apple Watch should light up and it of course doesn't. That is of course the feature and the purpose is not to interrupt the performance in the theater or whatever you are watching or doing, but this is pretty much the reason behind this feature. So you just have to make sure that it is off Otherwise, the feature or the flicking to light up the Apple Watch is simply not going to work. If you have tried all of these uh, things and possible solutions, then of course, just reset, restart the Apple Watch, unpair, repair it. I mean, the usual stuff, but we try to fix problems before we need to come to the solutions that we simply reset everything. So hopefully some of the things actually helped you here and there is one more setting I want you to think about or take a look at and that is in the orientation and settings or um, part in the settings and there you can actually set the position of the digital crown. And this is something that I consider to be very useful. As you can see, I personally have it on the lower left corner. That means that I use more the thumb to control the Apple Watch and I think that I have much more sensitivity in my thumb compared to the index finger, that's why I keep it like this. But again, this has to do something with the flicking, with the orientation of the watch. So just play around with it and make sure to find the right combination of settings. For example, wearing the Apple Watch on the right wrist while using the digital crown on the left lower portion or the other way around, depending on your preferences. But just play around with it and find your sweet spot and find the way how you want to use the Apple Watch every day. That's just the principle behind it. So thanks a lot for watching. I really do hope that this video actually helped you a little bit in case you had a problem like this. 
I really do hope that you found any solution to be working. Now, thanks a lot for watching and your support and see you guys in the next tutorial or video. See you guys later.